guys, welcome back to another video, and in today's video I'm going to be remaking my how to use your own boss bar, how to create your own boss bar, because it's not the clearest, it was made over a year ago, and I think I can make it a lot better, there were some questions, and some people not knowing how to do it, so I'm in a newer version of the game, and I'm just going to show you how it works a lot clearer for the instructions. So the first thing you want to do is slash scoreboard objectives add boss bar and it's going to be a health scoreboard. Once you've created that, you're going to go slash boss bar add boss bar and this is your ID here and you're going to go boss bar colon player underscore your username with no capitals at all, and then in quotations, your username with capitals, and enter. Now slash boss bar set, and there's your ID right there, players at A, and that will allow everyone to see the boss bar. And next you're going to want to do is set up the health or pick the color. In this case, I'm going to set the health. So we're going to put in that same ID. So it's going to be whatever boss bar you have. So if there's more than one boss bar in the world, you're using that same ID for that boss bar. And you're going to want to set the max, which means max health, to 20. So that is the maximum player health is 20 hit points or 10 hearts because each heart is two hit points. So next I'm just going to give it a color, so slash boss bar set, give your ID, color, and then you can pick whatever color you want. I guess I'll just go with red, click enter. Next thing you're going to want to do is get yourself a command block, which you can easily do by doing slash give command block, simple. Once you have your command block, you're going to put it down, and you're going to make sure it's a repeat, and you don't need it to need redstone. It can be always active, or you can have it say needs redstone and just put a lever on it. However, that's not recommended because it only updates your boss bar if it's active, so we're going to set it to always active. And in here you're going to type execute store result boss bar and then your boss bar ID value run scoreboard players get and then your username boss bar S simple as that now if we set up Let's say, let's just get some stone and set this right here and go to survival. It should update upon you taking some damage. See? It will now update every time you take damage and will lower, but if you don't take damage, it won't update at all. You can see it naturally regenerates when you regenerate. It's as simple as that. Um, I have turned off my texture pack. Just hopefully the, the, there is less lag now because people were saying there was lag while my texture pack was on. And uh, I hope that was a lot more clear for you guys. So yeah, you can also see that when you eat to heal, the boss bar will update. So yeah. That's super simple, quick tutorial on how to make your own boss bar. This works for any player in a world. And yeah, there you go. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and found it very helpful. And I'll see you guys in the next one.